some mamas and maybe some non-mamas who just want to watch the video. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do today is, oh, okay, my mommy bag. Right, first up, okay, we'll do mommy. Okay, so I always suggest you do you two bags. Well, technically three, but I'll go through that now. You do your bag and then you do the baby's bag and then you do a delivery room bag. So that's a smaller bag, but I'll talk about that in a minute. First up for mommies, you need slippers. Um, I prefer the kind of slip bonnie ones, you know, with a nice rubber heel, nothing with a fluffy heel or anything like that. Nice slippers, right? So then you're gonna need like your night dresses, I suggest like two, three nighties, depending if you're going in for three days, two days, four days, whatever. Kind of have one fresh for each day. Um, I have some nighties here. Now as well, robes. I love a fluffy robe, so I'll probably bring a fluffy robe with me, but nobody else would dare bring a fluffy robe into a maternity hospital because they're so hot in there. And um, so I just brought these down to show you some, some robes, some like I've thrown stuff in here. Nighties, <sighs> uh, flip flops. Now I think these are great for the shower. You know, you don't want to be walking in on anyone else's, you know. So I would suggest like a nice, thick-heeled, you know, shower flip-flop. A dark towel, really important. Um, you know, because we don't want to see anything, you know. <laughs> it's okay if you have a white towel, but look, dark towel, pennies, so handy. Then obviously men, if you're only watching, look away, look away, look away. <laughs> Giant pads. Now, last year I ended up getting ones from Boots, which are fine, but everyone was saying get these ones, the blue ones, because they're really long up the back. Um, so these are them, and um, they are called Medicare. You get them in pharmacies. But look, pads are pads, but make sure they're the jumbo ones, because you'll need knickers, very important. Black, you, again, you can wear whatever color you want. I'm just saying like, you know, tip that I was given was to wear black. Um, I got large pennies, high brief, or full brief is what they're called and um, they're really really high-waisted and um, like you can get normal ones or whatever but i like these big ones and um, i wear them actually now with the bump then moving on from that we have a, a nursing bra now this isn't a nursing bra i don't really like the clippy ones i just like a sports bra that i can pull down and um, so just a nursing bra it's like a little holder so you can put it it's meant to be for like a tote you know like one of your handbags to keep your your bag in shape or whatever but i think this would be ideal if you're going in and out of your shower you know if, if you're sharing or not sharing or whatever to have your bits and pieces so what's inside this bag right shower cap i know not all moms and we all like hair is the last thing on our mind you might want to be washing your hair you might have like a mane like me and you're like oh no i ain't washing this hair and um, so a shower cap if you want to avoid washing your hair a hairbrush obviously you need your hairbrush and um, some body wash again decant these if you want into smaller bottles now we're not going on a plane and we don't have a hundred mil restriction and like if you forget anything you know someone can bring it over to you it's not the end of the world but look body shower toothbrush and toothpaste i got that in pennies i thought i was a cool little it was a luna come on girls in all fairness i wasn't not going to involve this and um, i would more so go with the shampoo conditioner out of this so other things you're going to need mommy's going to need is mints you know if anyone comes up and you want you want to be like <sighs> on top of them like you know nice bit of breath and very important because i used to be like ocd about this even in my own home after the baby a little bottle of sanitizer not so much for you but for the people coming in to visit you like yo you ain't holding my baby unless you have this sanitizer on your hands so a little bottle of sanitizer and just leave it right in front of everyone and be like <laughs> you know use it use it very important sanitize your hands and your guest hands you don't know what they're bringing in sanitize now, and, he, and they might sanitize on the way in, but it's not enough. You want to see the sanitization. Right, now, um, moving on, what else do I have in here? Luna bag, so I have it opened here. Get your Luna bag, because this is gonna be so handy for you. Open it up. Um, important for yourself, bag of jellies. I loved having my little sweet drawer next to the bed, you know, just for nibbles, because, you know, it's nice to have a few sugary bits to keep you awake all night. Not that you're not awake anyway. Um, Phone charger, really important to bring your phone charger. I know you're not gonna forget these anyway. Um, I think a spritzy watery spray. It's bad for the face because you know, if you're you know, feeling a bit flustered or you just get really kind of thing, spray your face. Um, dry shampoo. Dry shampoo that head if you're not washing it because you can't be greasy sitting in that bed. Right, okay. Um, cleanse off, cleanser, like a water, micellar water or anything. I know you're not gonna be wearing much makeup or makeup at all. Some people like to, some people don't. Um, cotton pads and a small bottle of little cleanse off. I use the Bioderm, I quite like that one. Um, again, hand cream, moisturizer, cause you know, your skin can get tied up the hospital. 
eye cream. Now again, if you don't care about these things, lads, you don't have to have them. They're just something that I would would need. Um, a tinted moisturizer or BB cream if you wanted to look a little bit fresh. Um, a bit of lip gloss, could be any old gloss, just a gloss on your lips, because you might not want to wear any makeup, but you might want something on your lips just to feel a bit, mm. um, very important. Deodorant, it's still gonna be stinking. Um, I put lipstick in here as well. Again, look, anything Luna to put in the video, obviously, but look, you can put in whatever. Something that someone recommended to me, two things here, I, I don't have it here, but I'll talk about it, eye drops. Oh, they were a lifesaver for me because I was just, you know, you'd be up all night, like, because obviously the feeding. Eye drops, really important, and lip balm. Lip balm, oh my God, your lips are so dry. Like, get lip balm, okay? As well for mommy, going home, make sure you have a comfortable outfit for going home. Right, nursing pillow, if you are nursing. Um, this is not the pillow I'm gonna use because it's kind of lost its shape, so see you to that one. But it was a lovely one last time. Um, for baby, right, okay, so I would suggest you have two bags, one for labor and one for like just your baby bag. Okay, first up, munchies for the dad. Put them in a little bag, you don't want him running off, I, to, I, I need to get a bar. No, you stay with me, I'm about to put a head, push a head through my vagina. So, you know, a little snack, a little towel for your baby for washing when, it, like, you know, when you're at the hospital staying. Um, obviously, you need some bibs, nice bibs, right, good bibs, um, a muslin blanket and um, you know just to kind of wrap around the baby and um, you know more little saddle saddle, saddles, swaddle blankets you know to swaddle them in and there's nice little swaddle blankets my cellar miss cellar miss cellar i don't know what they're called they're miss cellar blankets i think and um, that would be for the car obviously you have a car seat as well coming in on the last day or whatever but you know to wrap them up in the, the blankets and then obviously you need nappies I, lads Tiny. Okay, these aren't, these are pearls, but I actually am getting them. I will get them. I just haven't had a chance. I'm just back from London. Um, and wipes. So nappies and wipes. Dodies, dummies. If you, like, it's obviously up to yourself. I'm like, the minute child's born, it's like, dummy. <laughs> In that mouth. Vests, like, I suppose three a day, four a day. Like, you just don't know. Um, I think you need like, yeah, like three sets a day. So what I suggest people do is, Make up little bags and um, obviously make up one for the labor ward and have your labor ward, like your little outfit that you like, you know, like whatever that may be. So I would have a hat, the, the mittens, um, a vest, a baby grow, a nappy inside this little bag. Um, and I would bring that to the labor ward with it marked out. So I'd have one, but I'd also have two or three of these made up as well, just for the first day to kind of get your bearings. So then after that, then you could just kind of make it as you go. So I think it's so you don't know, like, I would suggest you definitely have, like, if you're in hospital for three days or four days, you need, like, three, four baby girls a day or three baby girls a day and, like, good few vests. Um, like, it depends on the baby, really does. Like, Pearl used to be spewing all over the stuff, so I had to change her all the time or else she was leaking in the nappy. So, vests, hats, mittens. Like, mittens are important because they're little handies. They'd be scrolling their faces. Obviously, like, if you want to bring nipple cream and nipple pads, you can do that too. I didn't end up needing them. I was fine, so I'm not going to be bringing them this time. And I think that's kind of all. If I've left anything out, I, I, I'm kind of, like, under pressure here because I'm like, oh. Uh, if I left anything out, I'll pop it all down below in the description box, a list of all the bits and pieces. And if you think of anything, definitely comment and let me know if I'm missing anything. I know, like... I'll go through this now and be like, oh, I never said that, I never said that, and I never said that. Oh, bobbles for your hair. <laughs> I kept that on my wrist just to remember. You do have a few minutes to watch something or read a book, bring a book. Um, I I downloaded movies onto my iPad last time. I didn't end up using it, but it's nice to have it just in case. Um, you know, headphones, you know, like I wouldn't be obviously putting your headphones in case the baby's crying. But say, for example, you know, the baby was asleep and there was someone next to you asleep and it was kind of during the day and you wanted to listen to like a, um, a podcast or something on your phone or even like, I don't know, whatever, just to have them so you wouldn't have to turn up the volume or if you wanted to watch some video like this on your on your, on your your phone or whatever, just to be able to pop in one ear phone. I wouldn't put, I put it in the other ear so you could still hear the baby, pop it in one ear and just listen away to whatever you want to listen to in private because obviously it depends if you're sharing, you can't really be like blasting the volume or whatever. So yeah, so headphones, iPad. Again, I didn't really use mine, so. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, but again, thank you for watching and leave your comments below if you think I forgot anything or whatever, because I'm just so flustered. And best of luck. Oh my God, guys, the most ex amazing experience of your life. It's your first baby or second baby or 10th baby. Um, it's as exciting as it always is. It's the most 
precious moment, enjoy it. Um, like I said, don't worry if you forget stuff. It can be brought to you, it's not a big deal. Um, I just I just wanted to show you some of the bits that I'm bringing. Okay, and I will tag this bag below as well because it's just, I 